you know, I've played a lot of sort of confident, you know, sassy women in control and power, which I love doing. Um, but with Anna, I got to. Hi, I'm Jonathan Bloomberg writing for a movie scene in Sweden. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Uh, so I've uh, obviously seen uh, Upgraded, uh, the movie, and I, I really liked it. It was like w one of those rom-coms that kind of feel like we saw a lot more of during the 90s and early uh, 2000s. Uh, and I really liked uh, where you took this. Uh, so, uh, Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and I, I know that... Uh, You've um, obviously I've seen you in a, a lot of stuff uh, before too, uh, like uh, Riverdale and, and and Do Revenge and, and other movies like that. But this one, you were actually involved with the producing too, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so so I was wondering how, if at all, uh, being a producer on on a project kind of helps with the acting as well. I, I would presume. In kind of getting uh, to know what what you really want uh, to portray from a produce, producer perspective and then being able to act it out. Yeah, I'm happy you brought that up. That's actually, I think, why I became interested in producing. Um, it was because I, I really was like, oh, this could help me as an actor. You know, I could I could be involved with creative decisions that will only better my performance. Um, exactly. Because sometimes, you know, you're doing a scene and the writing isn't landing, it's not feeling natural, but you don't really have the creative control to change it. So you just kind of have to make it work. Um, and that that's fine sometimes, you know, that's the way it goes. But I find that when I am able to produce like I did on Upgraded, I can really tailor the role to me and fine tune it in a way that will only improve not only my performance, but the performance of every actor on the movie, you know? Um, yeah. So producing definitely started out as a desire to um, improve upon my acting and then turned into a genuine love for producing and, and you know, the problem solving aspect of it that comes along with it. Yeah. Uh, and me being a, a Swede, I obviously have to bring up uh, Lena Olin, who is... <laughs> marvelous in yeah. this movie too and you, you do share a few scenes with her so, so how was it working with her on, on this movie i adore lena olin she is a star she sparkles every time she walks into a room it's like the whole room brightens up it's just she has this beautiful beautiful energy she's a beautiful human and i could not have enjoyed working with her more that, that's nice to hear yeah um what what uh, kind of drew you to to this part before you even decided that you wanted to produce uh, and <laughs> accept the role what what kind of uh, is it in in this role in particular that that uh, made you want to to do this project so many things um i think you know from a producing standpoint it was oh i haven't really seen a rom-com in the art world before that sounds really interesting to me and then from an acting standpoint I felt like I hadn't played a character like Anna yet. Um, you know, I've played a lot of sort of confident, you know, sassy women in control and power, which I love doing. Um, but with Anna, I got to play, you know, she's an assistant, she's an intern, she's she's struggling financially, she's a little messy right now, you know, and, and I think- you, you also spent your 20s doing high school, basically. Exactly, yeah. Um, so I'm like, I, I was really excited by the idea of playing a character that doesn't have her life together um, and is a little bit, you know, sillier and, and figuring it out. That was really interesting to me. Yeah, uh, I, I also felt like everyone can relate to, to that moment where you kind of a, a, a white lie, <laughs> like, like th there is a, a, a lie that you don't even think that you're putting out there and yeah. then you kind of get stuck in it yeah. and, and this <laughs> is taking that to, to the extreme obviously but <laughs> uh, do you have any other uh, instances where, where that has happened to you? Um, no I'm getting that question a lot but unfortunately I don't I mean not unfortunately I think maybe it's for the best but I don't have um, any white lies that have turned 
turn sour. I, I don't really white lie. Um, and I'm not saying that to make myself sound like a, a saint. It's more just that I'm so genuinely anxious about lying, even about the smallest things. Um, I'm like allergic to it. So, so I don't, I've never found myself in Anna's position, but you know, she's on a plane. She meets a guy who she finds cute. She's never going to see him again. And then the next thing, you know, she's pretending to be her boss. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so uh, last year you, you also got to say your farewells to Veronica that, that you uh, played for, for all these years, uh, almost your entire twenties. Yeah, uh, I, I imagine that is like an experience that not many people uh, go through in, in life in not even uh, doing acting like for their entire careers, having like played one character for, for that long period of time. Yeah. Uh, how does that feel to have done that? And do you think that will help you in the future, in, like with the roles that you're going to get Um well absolutely. in the future yeah absolutely I mean it's it was a very long experience obviously but I'm so grateful to have had that I feel very lucky to have worked in that way at such a young age um it trained me tr like truly trained me as an actor and I've learned so much on that show that you know when I go on to other projects I I see how that has affected me and how I've, how much I've learned. I mean, even on Upgraded, the fact that I had done Riverdale for seven years contributed to my skill set as an executive producer because I have so much experience. You know, every day I was working like first 10 months out of the year for seven years. So I've been on set so much. I've worked with so many different directors. You know, every episode there's a new director. Um, and I've, I've, I built like a technical skill set that I feel like you can only really get from working that consistently um, on a show. And so when I got to the upgraded set, kind of, you know, questioning whether or not I had the chops to be an executive producer, I quickly learned, oh, wait, I think Riverdale, Riverdale taught me a lot. And I actually do know what I'm talking about. And I started to value my experience even more so while filming Riverdale, I realized how valuable my experience was in that setting. Yeah, I can only imagine. Uh, this uh, movie Upgraded is also, well, it comes out now the, the weekend before Valentine's Day. And I kind of feel like it's uh, one of those movies that really works well. Uh, mm -hmm. People uh, watching that on, on date night on Valentine's Day or, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I would imagine that you would agree. Is there any other movies uh, that you feel like are perfect for, for those kind of uh, Valentine's Days or date nights that this movie kind of would uh, be in uh, like next to? Hmm, that's a good question. I'm trying to think. I mean, I I love... How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, um, Along Came Polly. I feel like there are a ton of movies. I mean, they're usually the older ones, but to be honest, I one of my favorite movies, um, that's not a rom-com, but it is a romance and I think is perfect for Valentine's Day, is Before Sunrise. I love Before Sunrise. And I think it's such a beautiful romantic movie that would be perfect for Valentine's Day. Yeah, I... Totally agree. That, that's a, a, a good a good shout. Yeah. Um, and I, I also know we only have like a minute left now, but but you're working on uh, producing another movie uh, too that, that you're starring in. Uh, is there anything you can say about that movie? Uh, it's about to come out like this year or next year, right? Are you talking about Musica? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I have so much to say about that one, but I'll keep it short. I'm super excited. This one's one of my favorites. It's It has a lot to do with being a Brazilian American. Um, and so it's very personal to me as a Brazilian American. And I'm just really excited to bring representation to that community um, with this movie. And also it has to do with synesthesia, which is a whole other thing that we don't have time to talk about, but it's... Um, <laughs> 
it's really, really unique. And it's like nothing anybody has ever seen before. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that uh, as well. So thanks a lot for taking the time to speak with me today. And best of luck with the premiere of, of this movie. And then Thank maybe so we'll much. talk again. So lovely talking to you. Right back at you.